Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, peak wind gusts in Rhode Island so far out on Block Island, 51 miles an hour, and we're likely going to be seeing the winds picking up throughout the rest of the night. Let's take a look at what's going on. Our live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar again showing the rain showers uh, across the region. For the most part, the showers shut off in Rhode Island and nearby Mass. Now we're beginning to see them expand a little bit. In fact, this area off to the south is expanding northward as the real main area of low pressure is working its way on off to the north toward New England. It'll actually be passing offshore, though. Uh, downtown Providence right now, you can see we've got some good visibility. The showers have stopped here. And down in Narragansett, you can just barely make out the Newport Bridge. No rain down there in Narragansett or in Newport. 39 degrees, kind of chill up there in Smithfield picked up a little bit more than a quarter of an inch of rain had a wind gust of 25 miles an hour up there in Smithfield 40 in Coventry 41 Charlestown 44 Newport Taunton at 43 Gloucester chilly at 37 our threat tracker for tonight tomorrow and into Monday tonight and tomorrow the highest chance of seeing some severe weather let's take a closer look at the overnight strong gusty winds especially after about 2 a.m. some power outages are possible might actually find some more batches of of heavy rain working through the region. Now tomorrow we are expecting to still see some uh, strong winds, maybe gusting up to 45 miles an hour. Still could be looking at some power outages through the daytime tomorrow, but the rain I think will be end in the morning, ending in the morning. It might actually end as a little bit of wet snow. Satellite radar picture showing the extent of this storm. You can almost make out kind of a large twist in the atmosphere here. We're going to be seeing an area of low pressure working its way on off to the north northeast passing well off to our uh, uh, east during the next 12 hours or so. But we're going to be seeing some strong winds and some rain into tomorrow morning and then enough cold air may work its way in. Might find some wet snowflakes around tomorrow morning and then it's out of here for the afternoon. The rain will shut off, but the wind machine will still be going on right through the afternoon. Take a look at our future cast. Here we are at 730 in the morning. Some rain lingering, especially in southeastern mass might find a few wet snowflakes there tomorrow as well. And then during the afternoon, skies will be clearing up, remaining windy right into tomorrow evening and actually probably into the daytime on Monday. Take a look at some of the wind gusts uh, through the nighttime tonight in the uh, about 30 to 40 mile an hour range. And then as that storm system gets a little bit closer tomorrow morning, I'm thinking the height of the winds will likely be between, say, 6 a.m. till about 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Here we are at 8 a.m., 43 mile an hour wind gusts in Providence, out on the vineyard in the Cape, uh, maybe up to 60 mile an hour wind gusts. Even Newport and Block Island could be seeing some gusts up to about 50 miles an hour. Then they kind of uh, wind down those winds do tomorrow later in the day. Northwesterly wind gusts in the morning to 45 miles an hour in Rhode Island. Some inland snow showers are possible in the afternoon. We're still looking at the threat of uh, some strong winds, but the precipitation should be gone. Here's your live pinpoint Doppler 12 seven day future cast of your forecast for the Patriots game. The rain and any little bit of snow will be gone. Windy, cold and drier, about 40 degrees at kickoff. Now on Monday, we're going to start off very cold around 30 degrees in the morning. A freeze possible first thing Monday morning. It'll certainly feel like winter and be pretty windy as well. Tuesday gets a little milder, 57 degrees in the afternoon. Wednesday looks OK. Might find some rain around on Thursday, drying out through the daytime on a Friday. Don't forget to take the live pinpoint Doppler 12 future cast all your breaking news and video with you. Just point your web browser to WPRI.com from any computer, smartphone, or tablet. So we are looking at uh, the winds to be picking up through the night. It'll likely be very windy through tomorrow morning. You set all the clocks back in this place? Uh, I'm, I'm going to get to work on that. Don't forget to set your clocks back one hour and change the batteries in your smoke detectors as well. Great advice. TJ's been a little busy tracking weather tonight. Uh, didn't have the time to turn the clocks back. All right, TJ, thank you. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 11, the Rev.